This was all a trick. I got you guys all into table turf battle so when multiplayer opens up I'll have lots of tough enemies to play against. Alright, so if you're having trouble playing against level 3 enemies at like 30 times to get all their sleeves, you are in luck because I'm going to try to make a little mini guide. I've already gotten all the sleeves that I want so I'm just going to go back and get all the ones that I missed and I thought might as well just bring you guys along for the ride. So if you're having trouble against Baby Jelly, Cool Jelly, and Aggro Jelly, I wouldn't worry too much about those because you don't get a special card sleeve for beating them 30 times. But if you're just having trouble with them in general, any of my other videos will help you with Baby Jelly Level 3, Cool Jelly Level 3. Aggro Jelly Level 3 though, you're going to have to watch some of the videos I did with Harmony. I think I've fought her a couple times. She plays very similarly to Aggro Jelly, so I'd watch those videos. So I'm just going to do Sheldon, Gnarly Eddie, and Jellifleur. I already have Sheldon's card, er, card sleeves, but that's okay. So it makes Sheldon difficult. Well, not difficult, but like, if you know how to play against him, he's not that difficult. But what he does is he always sneaks into the corners and blocks you off. So to counter that, you want to block him off first. So try and get your longer cards. I like this hand though, but I'm going to redraw anyway. Try and go for the bigger cards. Okay, that's not so bad. So Sheldon, he inks his base sometimes, usually, uh, first, and then he starts going outwards, so that's your chance to get in there with a really long card. Let's see, let's flip it this way. Try and block him off. Yep, he's inking his base, which is a mistake. You should reach, go for the mid first, and then, and then go back. Just like real table turf, or just like real turf force. So, you probably can't reach this far. But you want to just block off all of the little arms of this board. Okay, I think I've got him pretty much blocked off from this right side and the bottom. Let's see if I can block him here. He's probably, he always plays his big cards first. So he's probably going to play something really huge right here. So I'm actually going to back up a little bit and play this right here. Now, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to play that right there. Yeah, okay, good. So I can still get into that zone. Like, ideally, if you can get him blocked into his own section, that's perfect. But uh, if if it's a risk to you, just don't do it. Because what will happen then is, like I've done that before, I've blocked him off completely in his zone. And what he does, he always has the perfect card to build up a ton of special, and then he just reaches down into your sections. Um, what you don't want to do is give him corners. Like if I had placed uh, this card here, on the corner, he would have placed something perfectly right here and then gotten through into this section. Now, I'm gonna place something here and he's gonna go right through me, watch. This always does it. There we go, see? His cards have a lot of reach and they're also very big. They're not like huge, like they won't get you, but they're just the perfect size for whatever he needs to do. So I don't have any good big cards at the moment, but because I'm pretty safe here, and he doesn't have that much special built up. I think it's pretty safe to just fill in some gaps. I'm just gonna Tetris in my own pieces now while he stays in his his zone. Like you gotta give him a little bit of area to play with, otherwise he will start reaching into your zone. I'm gonna place this here. But yeah, first three turns, just get him blocked, and then you're you're set. Always play your bigger cards, go for the points, because again, he has big huge cards that will get you if you're not paying attention. <laughs> Try to maintain your lead at all times. Because he's sneaky. He's sneaky. So, if he places something here, he's probably going to get a special and then he's going to be able to reach down right into my section. So to counter him now, I'm going to see- oh, I don't like that. Uh, if I just maintain my lead, it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm just going to put this here. Set up some specials. Oh, he always specials with his ink brush because it only costs him three and it has a lot of reach. But you know what? That's okay. We're still safe. I just want to grab my three points of special. Ah, he's passing. Whenever he gets his own card uh, to start, he always plays it in his section, like deep into his section, like right here. He never tries to reach out with it. It's interesting. Where can I place this silly card? I just put this in my deck to just try it out and I just keep forgetting to take it out. Uh, keep playing your big chunky cards, maintain your lead. Okay, he's got three special now and he just passed with the tactic cooler which was weird. Cause he, like you know how I finish with the ultra stamp, he always finishes with the tactic cooler. I guess he has some other plans? That's a nice big card, let's play this butt charger. 
I don't need any more special. Like, don't go trying killing yourself trying to get like f uh, 50 special. You'll never use that much anyway. All right, we've got him very nicely blocked off here, and we're just gonna reach in his zone and grab a bunch of points while he does the same. Always do, does that. All right, so that's Sheldon. Just block him off. Don't let him reach into your corners with his sneaky cards. Pretty simple. But he can get you very quickly if you're not paying attention. All right, so next is Gnarly Eddie. Um, just like Sheldon, it's more about the map than his cards. He has some good cards though. But you just want to block him off again. Don't try to reach too much. Like, if you can just get your side and just a little bit into his zone, you should be okay. So I am going to redraw because I've got two endgame cards in my hand. Okay, that's okay. So I'll reach for the center. Try to block him off, get into his zone a little bit. Like, I'm defining zones by like, dividing the map in half. Like this, everything to the left of this is my zone. Everything, everything to the right is his. So, let's see. Um, he's gonna go right through here. It's funny, he always plays in his section and then he reaches outwards and then he goes right back in. He has a very defensive style, I find. Like, pretty much every game I've played against him, he plays here, then he plays here, then he plays up here, or, or down here. He doesn't usually try to reach after. Let's see if he does it. Is he gonna go for it? Nope, okay, yep, defensively. He will try to block you off. So, you wanna do what I was warning you against Sheldon, which is corners reaching upwards. Alright, so he's got me blocked off. That's okay, because I've got a lot of points in his section. I just have to keep him out of my section, which is perfect, because I've got the Bob Lobber, so I can stop him in his tracks right here. Um, another thing Gnarly Eddie's very good at is building up special. He has some interesting small cards. Like, he has... what is it? Tentatech, I think? Or it's like two points, and it's diagonal, and he can get right into anything. Where should I put this? I need a good spot. Oh, I don't like this. Oh well. Yeah, Temtech. So, every time he plays that, he always manages to get at least two special. It's a very good card if you want to build up a lot of special. Where can I put this? I want I want these to be specials. Oh, ooh, oh. Play your big cards, get your points. Points for me. Because he's going to start reaching in soon. But see, what I've done here is I've built a little wall of special, so he won't be able to go past this. He'll have to either reach from here all the way to the top, or more likely, all the way down to the bottom. Um, what cards do I still have? Okay, I still got a lot of small ones. I... Whoa, wait a minute. I have my... Attack. Okay, I gotta change some of these cards out. I'm gonna place this down here, grab myself a special. I'm not too worried. We've maintained our lead. He's gonna get into my zone if I don't... Oh, I didn't get my nice card. Okay, I'm gonna just block him while I can. He's gonna play right there. Yep. Ooh, got me. But just like, just like Sheldon, he's got some sneak cards that he can throw into the corners and get ya. So if I play this here, I'm gonna do that, grab myself two more specials, build a bigger wall even, because what's gonna happen is he's gonna use this special to reach into this zone, but that's okay, because I am gonna be building up my own special to reach into his zone. So I'm connecting this one to this special, if you don't know how specials work still. Gotta be touching. And I'm going to end with my Ultra Stamp, because now he is completely out of special points. And I'm gonna place this right, right here, right, right here. <laughs> 76, drop him to 76. Nice. But yeah, he's not very aggressive, but he should be. He has the cards for it. No more of that. Yeah, I've gotta, I've gotta keep going um, because I only have 12 wins on him. I need to get his sleeve. I don't really like his sleeves. I got all the sleeves that I want. I just really want to get Lil Judd's. But I haven't been playing much because like I'm rank 50, right? So it's like, why am I playing this? I don't even get anything from it. It's just my sleeves. Oh, Jell-O Fleur is interesting. 
Ah, you're here, her. That is to say, I am here for table surf battle. Before we begin, I assume you've properly washed your hands. I will not tolerate filthy smudges on my most precious cards. Okay. Uh, let's see. His, he has a big, yeah, square squared, big old map. He's very hard to block because of this map. He's sort of all over the place. I'm gonna hang, hang on to that actually. Again, blocking people off. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try and take this whole bottom's corner. He reaches for the center very quickly, but because he's so focused on the center, that gives you space to go around him. Let's see if he'll do it again. Yeah. Oh, another thing that's really cool about his cards. He has like all uh, brand name clothing cards. I think it's really cool. Let's see what the next brand he's got is. Tony Kensa. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. So you want to reach around him before he can reach around you. What's the next brand? Nope, Squid Beacon. Come on, give us another brand, Bell. All right, and gonna keep reaching around, big ol' square. Uh, give myself a special while I'm at it. Incline. I love, I love theme decks. I wish I had enough cards to build a theme deck. I literally only have half the cards that are out there right now because I kept getting duplicates. It sucks. My luck is terrible. Keep reaching around. Not really blocking him off. You're just building a border around him. A frame? Where can I put this? Let's see, right here. Alright, five turns left. I'm gonna start building up special now. Razushi. Alright, where can I build special? I haven't been paying attention. Uh oh. Let's see. I need one here, I need one there. This is an odd card, the Octo Missile. It sure is shaped. Man, I'm gonna swap it out. I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, I'll grab myself a special here. Ten attack! He's also got ten attack. Ooh. Ten attack is great for building up special. I like Octo Snap because it's basically a free special every time. Unless. No. I only need three. I don't need to go crazy. Brockenberg! <laughs> I actually haven't even noticed if any other characters have theme decks. Like, Lil Judd has a bunch of Salmonid cards, and he has a Salmonid back. Um, card sleeve, I mean. But, I need to pay attention more. Too focused on my own cards. Grab myself another special. Flash Mob! Flash Mob's probably one of my favorite brands. I love all their clothes. Like, they're very simple, very plain. I haven't gotten uh, any, I don't think. Um, Oh man, he's got a pretty good lead right now. Let's see, what can we do? Five points? No. I don't know, doesn't make a diff. Whatever, block him off here. Anaki. All right, where can we grab points from him? Oh, here? Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it, just encircle him. Uh, it's a fun deck. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Delphur is pretty simple. Don't try to go for the center, because he will get to the center before you. <laughs> With all his rare cards. He has like all rare cards. Alright, so we'll pick this up next time. You've bested Delphur at card based combat. You really are quite a strong opponent, you know. I will strengthen my own deck. Once I do, you must return for another battle. I require it! Uh, I've been trying to build um, like a multi purpose deck. I don't know if this one's working out. This, this is the third iteration of my of my Yeehaw Baby uh, deck. So here's the sleeves that I've got right now. I've got all of Deep Cut and Sheldon and Harmony and the free one that everyone keeps bugging me about and Callie and Marie right now. So I'm gonna finish those off, hopefully. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know about this deck. What should we change? What wasn't working? I wasn't sure where to put the Octo Missile ever, so I'm gonna swap that guy out for another 4 or 5 pointer. I will eventually build that diagonal deck when I get a few more cards, but like, you saw that I had like 80 something cards, barely anything. Chum's an okay card? No, I don't want any diagonals. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Octo Missile. And see if he redeems himself in the next game. Alright. 
So we'll take on the next three enemies next time. I'll see you guys later. Bye!